Welcome back to House of Mysteria. Let's open up the Undead Legion battle deck from Legion's Realms at War. So the Warlord for this is Mortis, the Grim Shadowhand, has a damage counter max of 65, special ability Death Wave, cooldown is 4 turns, deal X damage to all warriors on the field, where X is the total number of undead cards in your discard pile, magical attack, spirit tendrils of decay, send the top 3 cards of target player's deck to the discard pile, then deal 1 damage to all target player's warriors. The physical attack is touch of death, deal 5 damage. The Veil is Wa Veil of Death. At the start of the game, Veil of Death starts with 3 Veil counters on it. At the beginning of each one of your turns, before you draw, remove 1 Veil counter from Veil of Death. If there are no Veil counters left to remove, peer to the Veil. Necro Realm. When this card is revealed, immediately activate the following effect. Target 1 player. Target player must sacrifice 2 cards on their side of the field if able. Beyond 6 feet under. It's a synergy with a cooldown of 5. Send the top 6 cards of your deck to the discard pile. Target player sacrifices X cards on, the si on their side of the field where X is the amount of undead warriors sent to your discard pile by this effect. Purge the Light. You can only play this card if your undead warlord is Mortis, the Grim Shadowhand. If you activate this card when your veil has not been pierced, pay Bloodborne 10. Then pierce the veil. If your Veil has already been pierced, target one player. Target player must sacrifice two cards on their side of the field, if able. You can only activate this card once per turn. Per game, I mean. Sorry. Imprints of the Grim. When this card is first activated, you can target one Undead Warrior in your discard pile, revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. Once per turn, you can pay Bloodborne 1 and target one Grim Undead Warrior in your discard pile with the attack of three or less. Revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. You can only control one face-up imprints of the Grim. Grim Tomb, Bloodborne 6. You can only activate this card if your undead warlord is Mortis, the Grim Shadowhand. Negate the activation of an opponent's fortified card that targets one of your face-up Grim unified cards. Destroy the fortified card. If this card was sent from your deck to the discard pile, you can target one warrior on the field and pay Bloodborne 6. Send the targeted warrior to the discard pile. Whispers of the Grim. Send the top three cards of your deck to the discard pile. Target one face-up unified card on the field from each for each Grim undead card that was sent to the discard pile by this card effect. Destroy the targeted cards. If this card is sent from your deck to the discard pile, you can target up to three Grim undead cards in your discard pile and eradicate the targeted cards. Deals 3 damage to all warriors target player controls. Grim Reanimation. Bloodborne 4. Target 1 Grim Undead Warrior in your discard pile. Revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. If this card is sent from your deck to the discard pile, you can pay Bloodborne 4 and target 1 Grim Undead Warrior in your discard pile. Revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. You may only activate one Grim Reanimation effect per turn. Rotting Flesh. Once per turn, you can pay Bloodborne 4 and target one warrior on the field. Send the top two cards of your deck to the discard pile and destroy the targeted warrior. If this card is sent from your deck to the discard pile, you can pay Bloodborne 6 and target one warrior on the field. Destroy the targeted warrior. You can only control one face-up Rotting Flesh. Camellia's Grim Cry of Death. Bloodborne 4. Camellia's? Hmm. Send the top two cards of your deck to the discard pile, then search your deck for one Grim Undead card. Add the search cards to your hand. If, the, if this card was sent from your deck to the discard pile, you can target one fortified card on the field and eradicate this card. Destroy the targeted fortified card. You can only use each effect of Camellia's Grim Cry of Death. Last breath before death. 
Last Breath Before Death, Bloodborne 8, target up 3 undead warriors on your side of the field with the keyword ability Perish, destroy the targeted cards. All undead warriors destroyed by this effect can trigger their Perish effects an additional time this turn. You can only activate one last breath before death per game. Revisit the Grim. You can only activate this card's effect if you have three or more Grim Undead Warriors in your discard pile. Once per turn, if an opponent targets your Undead Warlord with a direct attack, you can target one Grim Undead Warrior in your discard pile with the attack of three or less. Revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. You can only control one face-up revisit Revisit the Grim. Valley of Death. You can only activate this card if Mortis the Grim Shadow Hand is your undead warlord and you control no undead warriors on your side of the field. Discard all cards in your hand, then destroy all warriors on the field. Then, all players' warlords damage counter max becomes 35. You can only activate Valley of Death once per turn. I mean, once per game, sorry. Desecration of Hallowed Ground. When this card is first activated, send the top card of your deck to the discard pile. As long as this card remains face up on the field, all face up grim, unified, and fortified cards you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is sent from the deck or field to the discard pile by card effect, you can set it set in back to your side of the field face down, but then eradicate this card when it leaves the field. Grim Defeat, Bloodborne 18, deal 6 damage to all warriors on the field. If you activate this card when your under warlord is at more than half their damage counter max DCM, you can also deal 6 damage to target player's warlord. If this card was sent from your deck to the discard pile, you can send the top 3 cards of your deck to the discard pile, reduce the damage counter max of your under warlord by 3. Crypt of the Grim. Once per turn, you can pay Bloodborne 6 and target up to 2 warriors on the field. Deal 1 damage to the targeted warriors. If the targeted warriors were to be destroyed by this effect, eradicate the targeted warriors instead. You can only control one face-up Crypt of the Grim. Agatha, Ancient Girl of the Grim. It's a warrior with one attack. It has the Wisdom ability that states when this warrior with enters play, the controlling player looks at the top 2 cards of their deck. They then add one to their hand and the other to the bottom of the deck. Dinoka, Grim Souls of Evil. It's a warrior with one attack and it has the Perish ability. When this warrior is destroyed or sent from the field to the discard pile, the controlling player may activate the Perish effect. Target one Grim Undead Unified or Fortified card in your discard pile, add the targeted card to your hand. Prism, Soul Collector of the Grim. It has Perish as well, so Warrior with one attack. Uh, the Perish ability is you target one Grim Undead Warrior in your discard pile with the attack of two or less, not named Prism, Soul Collector of the Grim. Revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. Dax, the Grim Skull Crusher. It's a warrior with two attack. Lycanthrope, Grim Guarded Dog, it's a warrior with 3 attack. Teleha, Teleha, the Morbid Grim Queen, attacks for 4. Necrosis, Reaper of the Grim, attacks for 5. Now we got Dismantle, as a cost to play this card, you cannot draw on your next Rainforce phase. Negate the activation of one fortified card on the field and destroy it. Severed connection, target one fortified card on the field, destroy the targeted card. Second chance, target one warrior in your discard pile, revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. Pick up their power, target one warrior on the field, then target one warrior in your discard pile. Increase the attack of the target warrior on the field by the attack of the target warrior in your discard pile until the end of the turn. 
Then we got Deflect. As a cost to play this card, discard one card. Negate the activation of one unified card on the field and destroy. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out more Legions, Realms at War, here in the House of Mysteria.